Hi, I'm Rob Dom. Go to omaze.com slash Rob Dom to win the 2005 Ford GT. Okay, here we go. Piston. It does look like that, kind of. I don't know if that's an Easter egg or what. This is a video I have wanted to do for a long time. It's obviously not my traditional video and I try to keep my video game world away from this world. I don't exactly behave in the video game world and I like to keep that separate, but here's a glimpse of that. What I wanted to do today was to build my four rotor in Forza 4. I have no relation or anything like that, but I've seen a lot of people try and I wanna see, does it feel like the car now that I've definitely driven the car? Well, watch this. Obviously, when you've got the Hoonicorn, uh, that's the very first thing. That's the reason I honestly downloaded it and, and got the game. I've never driven the Hoonicorn, and I never will, but I assume that that's pretty accurate. I'm not too much of a fan of this whole weather thing. I, I played it, and I'm like, I want to go back to summer so I can, you know, check my car out. I'm going to browse all cars. Let's see, Mazda. And we will pick a 97, which is actually a right-hand drive, um, but we'll, we'll let it go. I don't know why it makes you choose these. I don't want to. I don't want to choose any of these. Sold out. Oh, that's not sold out. I just want the base car because I want to. I want to work on my own car. I'll go, I'll pick this guy's design. Since I can't figure out the the look of the car, applying liveries and shit like that. I'm gonna just go straight to this part, the important part, upgrading the car. So I am going to look at this, and this is actually pretty intense. I don't have anti-roll bars, so I can't uh, adjust them on the real car yet. Damping, that was the problem. We don't we don't know exactly how to adjust those. Aero, as much as we can guess. This is kind of cool. Braking, I can adjust that front to rear. Differential. Acceleration, oh, how much it probably locks. Gearing, ooh, we can actually go through the gearing on the car and uh, see if that makes sense. Alignment, I know all that. Tires, tire pressure, we can go with all that. Okay, here we go. Piston. <sighs> so there's a piston. Um, okay, hey, this is, this is redeeming. They've redeemed themselves. Improves torque only for rotary engines. What is it? What improved torque? It doesn't say. We're gonna back up. So we have platform handling, drivetrain, tires and rims, aero and appearance, conversion. What's conversion? Engine swap. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Stock powertrain, 6.2 V8, son of a bitch. Plus 150 horsepower, inline four, 1.6 liter. Ah, there we go, there we go. 2.6 liter four rotor racing. When I was racing Ken Block, it's just like the whole Ford versus Ferrari thing. You got that spirit of the new guy trying to take on the establishment. You might not want to spend your entire life savings and years of passion and obsession building a car, and thanks to Omaze, you can potentially win a piece of that spirit, the 2005 Ford GT and $20,000 cash. Not only that, you also get all of the shipping and fees all paid for. On top of that, you can support a great cause, the Peterson Auto Museum, which you may know houses the one FD prototype, the orange one that's a clay model of the car. I've been there about seven times and have never seen that. What is the Ford GT like? Well, my dear friend, P1 Young, and let me drive his a couple months back. <laughs> The Ford GT is a lot like the Diablo. It's raw, it's rough, it's not perfect, and that is what makes it such an awesome car. I can't express how particular it is. You can just feel the road, you can enjoy it. Don't just take my word for it. To potentially win a 2005 Ford GT and $20,000 in cash, plus support the Peterson Automotive Museum, go to omaze.com slash robdom to enter. Plus 429 horsepower, let's look at the dyno chart there. Uh, that is an A power HP, so it does top out at 700 horsepower at 10,000 RPM, 11,000 RPM, 10.5. I'll, I'll take that. Oh, okay, and look at this. Drivetrain swap. 
I'm going to go from the stock drive train to all wheel drive. Okay, okay, I, I've seen people doing this and I, I, I'm finally getting to do this myself. Oh, what's this one? Body kit. Well, I've just gone and modified it. Okay, rocket bunny, rocket bunny. Oh, <laughs> there's Todd's, <laughs> there's mine. Uh, they don't have the ability to modify the car lengthwise, like the, the car is not as long as mine. Uh, I guess we'll back up. So it's still a standard width car. Let's see, what's this? Rear wing. Yep. Nope. Yep. Not adjustable, that is correct. Hood. Uh, how about, how about no hood? Yeah, I don't, uh, I'm just gonna stay with stock hood. Uh, so we're good there. Tires, okay. Tire compound. So, stock tire, street tire, sport, horizon, race tire, snow tire, drag tire. Uh, front tire width. Currently, uh, oh, these are 16 inches. Well, I'm gonna do 285s. Rear tire width. 55, 275, 295, 305, 315, 325. So my rears are 325. Uh, rim style. Mazda. Sports style. What's this? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to find what I have on the car currently. Hmm. So many played out designs. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing, I mean, I'm sure we could recreate the Vossens if they're not in here. I don't have three piece wheels. I'm not a big fan of the three piece look. You'd have to really sell me on that. Specialized. Oh, not these either. These are not looking. I just want a simple lightweight racing wheel. That was the whole point of what I did, so I'm gonna go back to that first category, at least just pick something that's light. I'm sure you guys have actually made a way better version of my car than me. Now these don't have 1552s. These don't have uh, offset like mine. Again, my car's wider than the Rocket Bunny, so we'll, we'll play with, we'll, we'll play along, but um, screw it, we'll just go with these. Okay, we'll back out. Um, front rim height. So, okay, there we go. So we can switch them to 285, 30, 18 inch. Same thing with the rears. I wanted these actually to be 17 for more meat. Uh, that didn't happen. So there we go. Those are 9 or 18s. Thank you. Okay. Um, what's this? Drive train as well. Clutch. <laughs> Race clutch. It's, it's, oh, it's a triple disc. Okay, transmission, stock trans, race trans, unlock full gear ratio tuning, that's what I want. Uh, driveline, carbon. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't break into pieces. Oh, maybe, they, let's see if there's drive shaft loops in here. <laughs> okay, diff, differential two-way. Okay, good enough, that's not really descriptive. Platform and handling, brakes. Stock brakes, street brakes, sport brakes, race brakes. Oh, we're gonna go with sport brakes. Springs and dampening. Sport, I was dropping the car. Rally, drift. Oh, we're gonna go with race. Uh, Anti-sway. Um, I don't have anti-sway. Chassis reinforcement, uh, some. Uh, add some weight there. Weight reduction. Sports weight. Yeah, we're number tube chassis. Okay, so those are all done. Piston engine time. Restrictor plate. Yeah, we're gonna take that off. Oh yeah, we gained uh, a little bit. We're just over 700. View basket. Okay, how much is it gonna run me? 
Oh my god, the 2.6 liter four rotor engine, so it was just like my billet engine, was uh, 60,000 US credits. All wheel drive drivetrain was only, only $10,000? I got ripped off. I got ripped off. 3500 Holy shit, I actually paid $3,500 for just the, the Rocket Bunny kit. Uh, rear wing came with that, so actually I'm overpaying right now. Drag tire compound, I did not pay $10,000 for that. Uh, the rims, that's, yeah, that's actually roughly what I paid for the rims. Rota, I don't know what Rota is. Race clutch, paid roughly around that. Race transmission, uh, that needs to be closer to 24000 Race diff, that's 5000 really. Sports brakes, that's, I'll give it that. Uh, tube chassis, yeah, that's, add two zeros to that. Okay, other than that, it's funny, some of these actually hit the mark perfectly. Uh, so I'm 116 grand in. Um, I weigh 2,600 pounds. I'm no, that's that's a little light for me. But I can't. It doesn't look like I can turbocharge the four rotor. That part that hurts. Okay, so she's all upgraded. Uh, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna try and paint the damn thing. Don't say show the message again. Apply vinyls, find new designs. Okay. So let's see if I can find these are the new ones. Uh, creator info search. Keyword. Description maybe? Oops, Dom. Oh my god. That is Awesome. Dude, if, if any of you guys created these, I mean, hopefully you get, some of you guys see them on the screen. Look at all of those. Uh, you know, I think uh, this one, Vengeful America, he went with the three rotor. Everybody else, well, for the most part, now there's a couple three rotors in here. Uh, oh my God, somebody made the rotary vet? Holy shit. That is literally a rotary vet. That is impressive. You guys are way too, there's multiples. Oh my god, the three rotor back when it had the Montego blue fenders. You guys are nuts. The purple. <laughs> my hood. That's hilarious. The pink hood no longer exists. Oh my god, the rotary vets. The three rotor at different phases. You guys. This is so sick. Look at all these. The rotary vet's actually pretty popular. Back when I, uh, this is back when I had the three rotor and I, uh, was working on the front bumper. The pink hood, you guys, this is too epic. Look at how many there are. Well, uh, you guys know how to work this scheme way better than I do, obviously. And like I said, I just, I went into this, I don't know. Somebody actually put the Dom logo in the back? Venom legs. No way. No, great, I forgot. Now I need to rebuild the three rotor in here. I wonder how these are organized. Except for that, this van, you guys. That's not, that's not me. Uh, okay. So I, I'm just gonna pick, I'm gonna pick this one. Uh, SMG Mr. Hoog, Hug. Let's see, I'm picking yours. I don't know if this is going to undo all the work I just did. Unless it's like visual is, is different. Plank to this car. Uh, you know what? Find new design. I'm going to actually, I, I, I have to do this right. Backspace. Nope, oh, that's not backspace. I'm going to find one with the pink hood. That's only right. Okay, yeah, I'm trees. I'm using yours. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's just drive it. Let's see how this looks. <clears throat> <laughs> Turbo by Garrett. That's epic. And I did I did figure out how to put my own license plate in here. So that's all me. 
Is it finally not winter? Okay. It looks like it's still winter. So. Okay. That's screaming. Uh, yeah, I'm sliding. Yeah, that actually, that actually doesn't, that's good. That, that doesn't turn, uh, horribly. I noticed if I do this. Okay, oops. I mean, she's on drag slicks, so she shouldn't, like, get, she should be sticky, but again, we're in winter, so who knows. Oh, no, 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 that's not real. First gear, first gear does not shift at 62 anymore. I'm gonna tune the car now. So tire pressure, uh, rear, this is my secret. Not really secret. I'm gonna go to 20 in the rear. In front, I went to 22. Gearing, okay, first of all, Rotaries do not, you'll never run a 3.7 in a rotary. <laughs> uh, I ran a 5.12. I guess I can do 1.3, same thing. First gear is actually 2.64. Fifth gear is 1 to 1, so this is actually a 1. Let me do it, let me do it. Okay, I'll just stick there. Um, and then they're kind of evenly spaced from here. I can look it up a little bit more. But I purpose I have it. What you're noticing on this area over here is you're trying to shift between, I think, actually, probably get, I can probably guess the numbers just by doing this. Um, adjusting them so that way they all shift at 6,500. And uh, carry up the red line. Okay. Super finicky. And then six gear, I wish it was that. Somewhere, somewhere in there. I really don't have a top. The top speed is not. Um, my top speed is 182. Okay, there we go. So that's that's actually way more realistic. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this, and then drive it. Ooh, that launched. That launched solid. Yeah. Oh my God. Oops. Just like real life. So at the top of fourth gear, I should be doing 103 miles an hour. First, second, third, fourth. Yep, 103, 104 miles an hour. How cool. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go back to the car. Tune it. Uh, tire pressure, it was holding. It was really holding there. Alignment. So in the front, I actually have... Negative one degree, rear I have zero degrees. Um, toe in the front, I think I have like, it's like half degree degree, rear I have zero toe. The front caster angle is actually six degrees. Um, you don't tune that, I mean, you can kind of tune it as you guys saw in the, the alignment video, but that's actually pretty hard designed in there. Anti-roll, uh, I don't have anti-roll. Springs, okay, so this is interesting. Um, my spring rate, the spring itself is 350 in the uh, rear and 400 in, uh, pounds per inch in the front, but that's the spring, not how it actually ends up being once it goes through the cantilever. So it is actually a little bit more firm per inch. It's kind of interesting, but we'll we'll set it down. We'll just set them both to 400. Uh, see what happens. Sure. So they are soft. I mean, that's one of the reasons I keep hit bottoming out. Ride height, um, center of gravity, center of gravity, okay. So, I don't know what they call ride height, but um, we're gonna say 7.5, that's actually close to the bottom of the chassis. Just do that, damping. Um, don't have that, <laughs> I don't have that tuned. Braking, um, well, we don't adjust that, but it's pretty neutral at the moment. Uh, differential, ooh, center diff, um, so, Yes, actually, <laughs> oh my God, 65%. So yes, um, I, I send about 35% of my torque to the front. So it was already set. So this is in drag mode. This is not in uh, anything other than what you'll see or could see of me racing the unicorn. Um, I don't know what these are. Low, high, I'll have to read into what they mean by those. It's probably for turning. Okay, so apply the current setup. Again, we're in stupid ass winter. Okay. 
water. That's great. I've had a wonderful, wonderful time. God, I hate snow. Okay, well, at least the snow makes it easy to drift. Maybe if we go back into the town, yeah, there's too much water to uh, test this properly. And, dra and as you guys know, drag slicks just absolutely suck when you do that. Okay, so this is sick. Um, I was looking up things, I didn't want this to be boring, but uh, I was looking this up, and it does tell you, let's say, so saying it's 450 foot-pounds of torque, that's actually not, uh, I launched the car, this says zero pounds of boost. <laughs> uh, the problem with that is that I launched the car at up to 20 PSI, which would be a thousand horsepower. So we're only seeing this thing launch at 450 foot pounds of torque. Um, and it says 700 uh, horsepower, which um, if the torque is the important thing to me for this launch. Uh, and that is not accurate. Um, clutch, oops. I don't know what percentage means. 50%, okay. Okay, let's see what this next page does. Friction, ooh, I would love to have this. Oh, you can see the all-wheel drive kicking in. So that's that's what should happen, is that the rears are purposely, the front should slip it maybe, but not really. Uh, but I haven't gotten to that point. Let's see what happens when we accelerate in G-Force. Oh my God, that said 1.7. Uh, I do know on one of my launches, I did hit 1.7 uh, Gs of, of launch. So let's see. 1.7, no way. Okay, this game's uh, not smoking crack. Yeah. Okay. Tire temps. Uh, I have not done burnouts on these yet. Too. We, I've had no reason to warm up because they, they just have such amazing grip. Oh yeah, and you can see the temps adjusting as they go. Oh, it's like, oh yeah, okay, so camber. Uh, if you see on both sides of the screen, my camber changes as I turn left and right. Um, and that has to do with the, my kingpin angle. So, uh, heat. Damage, I have tons of damage at all times. What does this do, is this gonna? Oh, I see, okay. Okay, I don't, I don't ever wanna run into that circumstance. Okay, so those are all of the uh, specs. Uh, is there a way, Forza, you're not watching this, but if there, is there a way to turbocharge my four rotor, please? And uh, extend the front six and a half inches, because that will get me uh, what it feels like to handle. This straight line stuff is actually probably almost spot on. You know, that's in, uh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh my God, this game's actually pretty decent. I'm sure there's really good simulators, but look at that rear, hitting the rear uh, fender. Oops. Okay. Yep, that, that's actually pretty damn spot on with, um, you know, not tuned yet. Look at that. Oh my god, I'm impressed. Uh, but I'm running out of speed there. I know for a fact the car would be way faster. Um, okay, well there you go. There is just a hint of what it's like to have this car. Let's, uh, of course, I'm on this side. Uh, it does look like that, kind of. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's an Easter egg or what. My pop-ups work. Wow, that is the perfect way to end this video. Um, I'm gonna leave you with this. But I wasn't there for this race. And oh. it's it's the race of the Hoonicorn versus Rob Dom and his four-rotor all-wheel drive custom-built five-year project Mazda RX-7. Um, I haven't even seen it yet. I've seen the <laughs> uh, teaser. I think we might even have a teaser to show the people, but um, I think this is going to be the biggest episode because like you're taking a wild machine that you would only imagine in Forza and putting it against another wild machine that you would only imagine in the same game uh, against each other. So, um, well, you are absolutely yeah. right. We do actually have a preview of the episode. So let's take a look.
this is like a pretty special race. This car was built off of parts of the Hunicorn. An homage? Bit of an homage. It makes me uncomfortable to say this to you guys. I actually called up some of the vendors pretending I work for Hunicorn. <laughs> yeah, I respect it. Well, by the way, no one else do that. Yeah, don't yeah. do that. Oh my God. Came off. I think it's Bender came off. 